morning everyone. My name is Jule F. Makabanig, a BED2 student, and today I will discuss about the lesson 2 of biodiversity and ecosystem, which is the plants and animals in their habitats, which is lesson from grade 4. So, before we start the discussion, let us define what is habitat. So, habitat is a natural place or environment of plants, animals, and other living organisms. So, so a, habi a habitat is a place where plants find their food, animals find their food, and other living organisms. So in grade 4, they only introduced the four types of habitat, which is the desert, mountains, sea, and the grasslands. So what comes in your mind when you hear the word desert? So a desert is an arid land, usually sparse vegetation, such as land having a very warm climate and receiving less than 25 centimeters of sporadic rainfall annually. So in the desert, we find many animals, many plants, but not as many because a desert has a very warm temperature and most of animals and most of plants died and cannot survive any longer. So next is the mountains. So a mountain is a large natural elevation of the earth's surface so mountains as we can see in our country is a very big land masses or a very tall land masses we can find many animals and plants in the mountains so because mountains is rich in soil and also in animals in the mountains play a different role we can see many animals in the mountain that's why Many animals have their own food or many animals live in the mountains because of the prey, the predator. So if you are the prey, so the predator must eat you or attacks you. So, so in the mountains, I know for sure you have some ideas about the plants and animals. And I know you can show or you can name some animals and plants in the mountains. So are we clear for the mountains? So mountains is a, a large steep hill where plants and animals live. Third is the sea. So the sea is a, a sea is the expense of salt water covered the earth's surface and surrounded its land masses. So the sea the sea is the largest part of the earth's surface. So imagine the land is only one fourth and the sea is three fourth. So sea has a, deep, a very a very much a very much role in this earth. So because of the sea it has a lot of animals, plants and living organisms. So or not in the sea but it is part of the water so if if we can see if we say sea it has a lot of animals we can find sharks salmons or we can find many animals in there used for living and also in animal in plants plants have a special role especially in water because some plants or many plants of the water attracts or uh, made attraction by people so next is the grasslands so in our country we can find many grasslands open area that is covered with grass especially one used for grazing so grassland is a very big part of land which we can see many animals and many plants I, so remember when, when I am walking from home to school and in high school we use a uh, slacks then we go at home and after after going or after entering the house, we find that our slugs has many amorcicos or the one who who stay or who step 
on the slacks which is the Amorsico plants. So we are now done discussing the four types of habitat. So let us now move on to animals. So what comes in your mind when you hear the word animals? So animals has made has a deep role or have a great role in our country. We can find many animals like dogs, cats, the chickens, the birds, the goats, or other animals, the frogs, the crocodiles, and we can classify uh, different kinds of animals. So, let us now move on, or I will introduce you the four types or the four basic kinds of animals, which is the cow, the eagle, the camel, and the salmon. So, these animals is, I know it is very common for us. So, a cow, which is, which we can see in the grassland or in our home, we can find a cow. We are living a cow or we are feeding a cow. And second is eagle. So, this kind of bird has to go is instinct or it will be, it will be, done, it will be done or um, in, it will become unseen or it will become instinct. So, eagle for today we cannot see so much eagle in our country because some people hunt eagles to get food and also the hunting of that kind of bird is uh, has a law that can put the person into prison six is the uh, the le third is the camel so a camel is a a camel is a kind of animal which sustain his living or which sustain his life through his hams or the filled with oxygen or we can see it hams and last is the salmon so salmon is a kind of fish which lives in the sea we can find so it is a kind of product which is imported or exported to other country because of, of the many many salmons find in our country or in other country so th those animals is the basic which is introduced in grade 4 so I just only find those four but I know so basic animals are the animals which is we can see it every day or we can see in the movie in the textbook or in media or actually we see it in uh, in our two eyes then so animals have their different habitats if I if I say those animals the cow the eagle the camel and the salmon we can know or we can take the habitats we have discussed already. If we see cow, which do, which when where do cows live? So a cow lives in a grassland because it's the the cow eats grass and if we can see eagle. An eagle lives in the mountains because an eagle hunts a an animal which cannot fight back to him, like the small cats or the snakes and the camel so camel use the hams to, to sustain in the desert so as we can see many animals lives in the desert but i prefer to choose the camel because i know it is common and we can imagine how camels survive survive in a desert so do you name or you can name a plant that lives in the desert so for me i will show a about the cactus or the cactus or the plants which sustain in the desert so it is a very popular plant and let us move on to salmon so salmon is a kind of fish so which grows or which lives in a sea so now are we clear or we are clear about the habitats and also the animals i have shown to you so let us now move on to plants so plants can be seen everywhere so as we are walking to the garden of the school to the garden of the park or or we are going we are getting firewood so many plants we are going to a fan and also plants is the same to animals because plants has many different kinds also in animals so plant is also a living organism or we are a living organism so we have habitat so plants so plants is plants have different kinds so i will discuss the the longest plant which we can see in australia so it is the famous plant because of the its longest or its capability its capability to move or to it 
maybe it is a sucker because it can move by through the land and let us now move on to carnivorous plants so what comes in your mind when you hear the word carnivorous plants is if we can if we say carnivorous plants we can also say a carnivorous animals so carnivorous plants is the plants that it's or that it has a way to kill other animals or other insects so first is i will introduce the first carnivorous plants which i have to discuss which is the venus fly trap so this kind of plant as it's it's like a mouth which is which if we put insects or we eat it covers so it is a venus fly trap next is the pitcher plant so this kind of plant is like a pitcher which is if some animals or some insects some insects move on it or it will go inside on it they will they have no idea to come out and they have they will die inside the future plant so this plant or the, this type of plants which is the carnivorous plant the or the venus fly trap and the future plant is a carnivorous plant so let us now move on to the classification of habitats of plants so there are two types which is the terrestrial plants and the aquatic plants so what comes in your mind when you hear the word terrestrial plants so terrestrial plants is a plant that lives in a land or a plant that grows on land so we have many different terrestrial plants you can see a banaba a mango tree uh uh stir apple tree and an apple tree an orange tree or other trees that grow taller or other trees that that we can find food or also the trees that we can find any food on there on there if they grow so terrestrial plants is the plants that live plant and aquatic plants so what comes in your mind when you hear the word aquatic so it comes from the word aqua which means any it is defined or it is related to water so aquatic plants has is a plant that lives on water so we can see many aquatic plants we can see water lily the duckweeds or other plants that lives in the water so there are three types of aquatic plants the emergent which is the a plants that the roots or the roots is connecting to the land so if we can say emergent these plants are examples of these plants are lily pads and next is the submergent so submergent plants are the plants that submerge in water and the last is the free floating so if we see free floating so it is moved by winds by currents of water and other natural activities in water that moves the plants so this kind of aquatic plants so many of the aquatic plants attracts people or attracts attracts people most of the time so we can find ourselves uh, walking and we can see those and we can find ourselves relax and so for today this we are now done for the discussion about the plants and animals in their habitats which is the lesson or the grade four so let us have a summary so first we discuss about the habitats the four kinds of habitats the animals the the basic kinds of animals which is the cow the eagle the camel and the salmon next is the plants which is the longest plant the two kinds of carnivorous plants which is the venus fly trap and the pitcher plant and the two classification of habitats of plants which is which is terrestrial plants and aquatic plants so the three types of aquatic plants which is the emergent plants the submergent plants and the prey floating so thanks guys and thank you for listening and i hope you learned something about our discussion so before that thank you and god bless everyone i am julie f makabani a be student and goodbye everyone